हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टुडे न्यूट्रिशन इन एनिमल सो व्हाट इज न्यूट्रिशन सो न्यूट्रिशन इज ए प्रोसेस ऑफ इनटेक एज वेल एज यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ न्यूट्रिएंट बाय एन ऑर्गेनिज्म एज वेल एज यूटिलाइजेशन of nutrients by an organism so what is nutrients nutrients are the substances which an organism obtain from its surrounding and use it as a source of energy so these are substances which an organism obtain from its surrounding and uses it as a source of energy or we can say for the biosynthesis of its body constituents so on the basis of nutrition the organism can be can be divided into two parts here is nutrition the first one is autotroph autotrophic and the another one is heterotrophic autotrophs are those which are able to synthesize their food on able to synthesize their food themselves examples are plant in heterotrophs uh, they are not able to synthesize their own food example are animal so here on the basis of mode of feeding organism can be on the basis of mode of feeding we can divide organism into or we can categorize them into number first holozoic holozoic are those which feed on solid food so here large organic molecule converted into a small soluble substances with the help of some enzyme now second one is saprotrophic saprotroph absorb organic matter they absorb organic matter from dead and decaying organism with the help of enzyme examples are some bacteria and fungi also now there is third category that is parasitic
दीज ऑर्गेनिज्म डेराइव देयर फूड फ्रॉम बॉडी ऑफ एन अदर लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म means they feed on their host without killing them examples are some fungi like trochina elbugo and some bacteria also then plasmodium and ascaris so as we say human and amoeba are holozoic organism so how the digestion in these organism occur so we are discussing now the step of digestion in holozoic organism so nutrition in animal the first step here is ingestion ingestion means the process of intake of food intake of food then second step is digestion so digestion is breakdown of large and complex molecule complex molecule into smaller and soluble form okay the second the, the third step is absorption so here we can see that first organism intake the food then the digestion of the breakdown of that food particle occur then here is third step is absorption so what is going on in absorption what happen in absorption absorption means taking up of the digested food through intestinal wall taking up of digested food from intestinal wall and wall to blood or we can say body fluid then there is fourth step that is assimilation in this process the absorbed food is taken up by body cell by body cells and the last step of digestion in human is digestion it is process by which undigested matter expelled out undigested matter expelled out from body so the whole digestive system is regulated by various hormones secreted by endocrine glands okay so ab hum baat karte hain so now we will discuss the digestive system of human as we know we have a particular system uh, for the whole process of digestion and in this digestive system we can divide it into two parts number first one is alimentary canal and number second is 
digestive glands so human digestive system is highly evolved and complex digestive system and food is the basic requirement of all living organism in our food the major component are carbohydrate protein fat uh, some vitamins minerals are there so the uh, the food we taken inside our body is di digested or we can say break down in small and soluble forms and then absorbed or utilized by the body cells so here we are talking about the elementary canal so if we are talking about the definition of di uh, digestion what is digestion definition of digestion in digestion biomolecules in food cannot be utilized by our body in their original form so digestion is the process of conversion of complex food substances to simple absorbable form which called digestion so we separate the uh, whole digestive system in two part elementary canal and digestive glands so we will discuss the elementary canal in our next class thank you